Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. So you found yourself a gun in Space Station 14, but when you go to shoot it, you just hear... Well, uh, that's probably the worst sound you can hear in the game. And what's confusing about it is, if I look down here at the UI where the gun's at, it says all the ammo's there. Well, what's going on? Well, there's basically three types of guns in the game. There's magazine-fed guns. There's cylinder-based guns, like the revolvers that just cycle through bullets. And then there's shotguns, or bolt action. So the reason why the camera is clicking is that this gun was fired, but it was not cycled. So there's two ways to cycle a gun. To cycle a gun like a camera or a double barrel or a bolt action, you could just press Z. And if we see that, it will leave the spent shell directly on the ground. Next, if you want to just fire, you can just make sure harm mode's on, point at whatever you're trying to hit, and shoot again. But it doesn't auto-feed a shell. You have to manually pump it. And there's two ways of doing it. One is taking the really long time period to turn harm off, right-click your gun and cycle, which is just takes forever. Or you just press Z and you're instantly ready to fire again. And now the gun is out. This is something I make mis I mistake, and I see a lot of people still make this mistake. Even after you fire the last shell, pump it out. You do not want to just leave an empty shell in your camera or your double barrel because when it comes time to reload it, like, for example, you can find a box of uh, cartridges. You have to pick it up in your hand and press Z to eject the shells out. So I'll eject out four shells. So we want to, to load a shotgun, specifically a shotgun, and uh, you could do it with the revolver too, I'll show in a second. You just pick up shells and you just left click the gun and you don't have to do anything else you just keep left clicking them into the gun and now since we already ejected the previous shell we are ready to fire again like so so by remembering to constantly cycle after shooting no matter what even if it's your last shell will make the gun a lot more operational and will have less overhead memory in the future so now what about not pump action and bolt action guns let's go to a, a very common security weapon the lector this is on most maps in the game currently. The Lecter has a different UI than the shotgun. It has a bullet indicator on the left to indicate there's one in the chamber, and then 25 to indicate there's 25 in the magazine. And if you even shift click it, which you can shift click any gun, it'll show you the ammo it uses and how many shots it has and its fire rate. It has 26 shots remaining, which means one in the chamber plus 25 in the mag. Now, there's multiple ways to take the mag out of a gun. You can alt click it, and I'll put it into your hand, and it doesn't matter if you have an empty hand selected. You can Alt-Z to eject the mag as well. And then you can also right-click it and eject the mag that way. And by right-clicking it and ejecting it, you can also take the bullet out of the chamber and put it back in. To shoot an automatic weapon, it's very easy. Just turn on harm, harm and hold left-click. And just like that, you have fired a little burst. Say you want to reload, you just Alt-Z. And a little trick is if your other hand slot is full, so like say I have a spare magazine in my other backup hand, it will just drop your empty mag on the ground so you don't have to fidget around with as many hotkeys. And you just put the new mag in, you're good to go. Another trick that's really useful is in your backpack, just make sure your rifle mags are lined up with uh, like next in slots. So like when you do quick take from backpack, it instantly goes in your hand. So I can just... Shoot a few bullets, Alt-Z, drop the mag, backpack, and new mags in. You can get really fast at this. Like, you can basically get to the point that it seems like you have on a bottomless mag if you are really fast at reloading. I've seen some people, like, <laughs> they'll put their gun down on the ground, they'll right-click it, they'll take the mag out, and then, like, they'll fumble with the mag. You'll see them stand there for, like, five seconds, and then they finally put another mag on the ground and put in the gun. Yeah, don't do that. You can almost instantly reload by using just a few simple hotkeys, like the quick take from backpack. But this isn't a how to be robust tutorial, it's just a how to use guns. And if you want to pack a mag, you just can print out these uh, ammo boxes. I got practice runs by accident. But you just spam left click the mag until it says it's already loaded, and there you go. The magazine is loaded, and you can just swap them out. Very simple shooting mechanic. And now, the third type of weapon in the game is a revolver. The revolver, like a Predator, which is a common, in quotations, gun, 
You'll see it now and then again. It's not a very good weapon, but you'll still see it because Bonnie can grow endless amounts of it if you're a trader. But, as you can notice with this gun, there is no ammo indicator. So, it's basically a mental note. The Predator has seven bullets, and what you can do is you can put the gun on the ground or keep it in your hand, and you can right-click to spin it, which just cycles the amount of bullets in order like a revolver, or you can right-click to empty it, which will drop every single bullet on the ground, and as you can hear, it is clicking, because there's no bullets in it. So yeah, you have to pick up, pick up every single bullet. You could just, you could be more efficient about it and do it this way. Well, if I don't click off my screen. Like, you could do it like that. But, as you can see, there's no indicator of how many bullets there actually are. So, let's just shoot three bullets. And now, I know there's four out of seven. So, there's two ways of reloading this gun. One, you have to empty it. And then you're going to have to sift through your not-spent cartridges and put them back in. Like so. You can also get a box of ammo. And with the box of ammo, you still have to put it on the ground because you can't pack it directly because it's not a magazine. And load every bullet by hand. Which makes revolvers not very common choices for much of anything. The other option is you simply just get a speed loader and you empty out your revolver and put the speed loader in. And it's basically like an empty magazine now. So with the speed loader, your time to reload goes up significantly and yes you can also alt z to instantly dump all the bullets out of your revolver so if you have speed loaders you can essentially reload your revolver like you would any other magazine fed gun they're basically magazine lights but you will drop your ammo in a loose form on the ground so it's a little less efficient um yeah that's basically it for um how to use guns it's really easy actually there's one other type. There are laser weapons. So weapons like the laser gun have no magazine system. They just have a battery count. And that is just how many shots it has. It is as simple as it gets. Lasers are hit scan, so it will There's no travel time. It just instantly hits the target at the end. Uh there's a little bit of like lag, I guess, with predicting targets and how they move, but uh, in order to recharge a laser gun, which, because lasers technically have infinite ammo, you need just a recharger, and you just turn off combat and just throw them in. Takes a little bit, but that's laser weapons, which is the fourth category of weapons. Uh, laser weapons are almost always the most effective choice in almost any scenario, because, let's take a show you real quick, they shoot through glass and just hit the first actual entity that they could collide with. And, yeah, that is actually as much as I could possibly think of and how to use firearms in this game. I appreciate you watching. Hope I taught you something.